Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe to be currently the best flak build, both for leveling and also for when you actually reach max level and are clearing endgame content. I've tested a whole bunch of variations of the build and done a decent amount of math and just, I guess, theory crafting or nerding out or whatever you want to call it. And after all of that, this is what I've determined to be the best. And this is what I was able to level up with from level 1 to 50 in about 24 hours played. So... Overall, pretty good build and is a lot of fun to play with. Unfortunately, it's not a snipe build, unlike the game, for some reason, um, advertised this character as being a sniper. Nothing like a snipe character. There's no reason to snipe on this character, but regardless, as you can see, the build does an insane amount of damage, and I'm really looking forward to min-maxing it in the future, but starting with a completely empty slate, and then I'm going to be showing you guys... Um, what order you want to do things in that can kind of be up to you i'm not 100 percent on the best order to do things in it, while leveling it's really not that big of a deal anyways um, i'll do my best and i'll kind of just show you what i did but i feel like it would be much easier to follow if i just started completely empty so so this build is pretty much going to revolve around playing with fade away and then eventually getting gorillas in the mist Reason being is that Fade Away is probably the best ability out of all of them. It's going to give you 100% crit, meaning that every single time or every single shot that you shoot is a guaranteed crit, which pretty much does the same amount of damage as a headshot, but you also will get even more damage if you do headshot the enemy. So pretty much just double the damage. And then the way that it works normally is once you fire three shots, it's going to go away. But while you're cloaked, you gain 200% crit damage per shot. 25% uh, cloaked movement speed, so you just run around really fast. You gain some decent health regen, not very good. And it's going to last for 15 seconds and be on a 45 second cooldown. The reason that we go for Grills in the Mist is that it's no longer going to just dissipate once you shoot three bullets, which is really nice, but at the cost of it not lasting as long and doing less crit damage. Um, once you get other skills, you're going to be able to increase the duration of this, but this pretty much just makes it to where... The idea of this build is to just pop this over and over again with a high rate of fire weapon, shoot as much as you possibly can while taking advantage of the extra crit damage, and just pumping as much damage during that burst window as humanly possible. We later on end up unlocking Unblinking Eye as well, which is probably the best talent uh, next to this. It's not like a, it's not a buff, or what am I saying? It's not like an ability, it's just flat extra damage. Successive hits on the target increase my crit damage per hit. And it resets every three hits so you get to increase your crit damage for a pretty significant amount over and over again which is really good this is particularly good on higher or on lower rpm weapons so um during your you know crit phase you could swap to a lower rpm weapon and then take higher advantage of this because that third crit is going to do exponentially more damage than a lower rpm or a faster rpm weapon would sorry so Basically how we, we want to spec into this is our main goal is to get fade away back as fast as possible and also stack as much crit damage so that we do as much damage during fade away as possible. Meanwhile, getting a lot of crit damage and fire or a lot of normal gun damage and fire rate along the way. The reason that we want fire rate is because we're using this talent head count where whenever you score a crit, it has a chance to reduce the action skill cooldown. And this ends up being 30%, so literally like one third of your bullets reduce the cooldown by two seconds. And if you have a very high RPM weapon, you can get your cooldown back in literally like less than 10 seconds after popping it, which is huge because you're doing so much damage during fade away. I'll get into the other skills that I use later, like the, the pet skills and stuff, but I'm just going to unlock stuff in the order that I would if I were to be leveling. So I'd first off be going for five into Furious Attack so that I can get Gorillas in the Mist equipped. That is the main priority there. Let me equip this here. And then the reason that we're going for Furious Attack is because every time you hit an enemy, it increases your gun damage by 2% when it's completely maxed out for a total of 10 stacks and it lasts for four seconds. Later, we're going to be getting something that's going to increase the duration of this by double. But this is really good because I mean, it's just 20% extra damage all the time. The reason is because when you get to 10 stacks, if you just shoot the enemy, it refreshes the duration. So you pretty much have this up all the time. And with the higher RPM weapon, you're going to be keeping this buff up a lot of the time. These other two abilities really aren't that good. I wouldn't really pay too much attention to them. The max health can be good if you're a survival-oriented player, but 
in my opinion, the best offense is, or the best defense is offense. So I prefer to lean towards things that give more damage and I'm not really too concerned about having additional max health. And your pet cooldown ability is just so bad. So I wouldn't really worry about using this. Um, the next thing that you wanna go for, since we have gorillas and the miss unlocked, we're gonna go straight into this next tree and we're going to unlock three persistence hunter, which is going to increase our action skill duration being our fade away by roughly four seconds and also increase our gun damage by 12%. Increasing this by four seconds is huge because you're just going to be able to pump out that much extra damage during this because it's going to last longer. Uh, next, we probably want to spec into overclocked for extra fire rate. The reason that you don't want to spec into these other things, you can do this and I can get more into this later. Um, but you want to prioritize this because it's just 10% fire rate and 10% fire rate after reloading and fire rate is a huge amount of extra damage. It um, just relates to a lot of extra damage, obviously, because it's shooting your gun faster and it complements very well with this. So now we're going to start going into this tree just to unlock head count and then we're going to go back into here because we want to get this ASAP. So starting off in this tree real quick. We're going to start with an interplanetary stalker. This is really good while leveling because when you kill an enemy, you gain an extra 10% bonus damage, and then it's going to stack multiple times. On top of that, depending upon the type of enemy that you kill, you get an additional buff of 7% corrosive damage or action skill damage or movement speed. Obviously, the human bonus is the biggest thing because it's action skill damage, and you can stack this up like crazy and then pop your thing and just melt shit. Um, but... Well, leveling this is really good because it's just a ton of extra damage you're able to kill npcs pretty fast so you're gaining you know you're stacking this over and over again and gaining a pretty amount good amount of extra damage and action skill damage and then we're just going to go three into head count the reason we want to go into this early is because while we're leveling we want to get our cooldown reduced on our fade away pretty fast and we want to get into the routine of using higher rpm weapons and just landing crits as much as possible to get our cooldown back so Jumping back into this next tree, we're going to continue on with uh, turn, tail, and run. This is going to be giving us uh, cooldown or damage reduction and regenerating health while we're moving. So we have a little bit of survivability. But the main thing I'm going into this for is while you're standing still, you gain gun damage and fire rate. You gain 25% gun damage and 12% fire rate. Huge amount of extra damage. It might sound counterintuitive and kind of clunky to play with, but once you get used to it, it really isn't that bad. And you kind of just get into the groove of just when you want to do a lot of damage, you just sit still for a second. Sounds weird, but it ends up working great in practice. So, obviously we have a problem here because we want to get two more points into this to unlock this next ability. So we got to put two more points in. This is kind of up to you and what you're doing. You could go into this so that your pet can res you. I decided to avoid it because usually I can kill something if I'm about to die. It's not that big of a deal, but if I'm doing harder content later where that isn't an option, or maybe like during a, a boss fight, this could be pretty good if you're playing solo. But for me, I'm going to go into Eager to Impress because this is going to end up getting buffed by a different cool, uh, skill that we spec into later that I will show you. But this isn't that great of a skill, and this is why I don't go into it early, because once you get it, you know, plus five, it doesn't really reduce the cooldown of your skill that much per kill. Um, I, I guess I should read it. Every time you kill something, it just reduces your action skill cooldown, which does sound like it would pair very well with this build since we're trying to get our skill back very fast, but it just doesn't give it to you. It, just, it doesn't give you that much value because like at max, it's 1.25 seconds per kill. And you're not being, you're not killing a million NPCs a second, right? And if you have the right guns and you're playing correctly, you'll usually get your cooldown back in like 10 seconds anyways. And in that period of time, you're not going to be killing a ton of NPCs. So it is nice to go into this just for, you know, a little bit faster of getting it back, but it isn't huge. So now that we've spec two more into this so that we can go down here, we're going to th go three into the Fast and Furious. This is going to give us gun damage and movement speed when we're above half health um, if you have a good shield you're pretty much gaining this all the time which is just free gun damage and free movement speed now again we have the same problem two more points away from a blinking eye so i'm just going to go boom two and two eager to impress you could easily go two into hidden machine if you're playing with friends where it just is like when you have when an enemy target is 
isn't attacking you or it's maybe attacking your pet or something, you gain extra damage. This is good if you're playing with other people, especially if you're playing with three other people because more of the mobs won't be focused on you, so you get this buff up more frequently. But I play solo the majority of the time, so I don't really want to spec into this at all. And I'd rather just go into this. Or you could go for a self-repairing system instead of eager to oppress and just gain 24% max health, which would pair well with the Fast and Furious, keeping yourself above half health. I just don't think it's worth. Um, so yeah, in terms of the pet slot that I use, I like to use this one because usually what I noticed happen a lot let me make sure that I equip this. What I noticed happened a lot is that my pet would just die all the time because it was using melee abilities. So this is really nice because it gives your pet a gun. Additionally, a rocket launcher, which is pretty cool. And it makes your pet pretty beefy, which is also really cool. On top of that, it gives you 5% movement speed and 5% crit damage, which is just a very nice bonus to have. Going back into this tree, this is how we're going to... Excuse me. This is how we're going to end things. We're going to... Oh, we need two more points to go into here so the next thing i'm going to go into is second intention this is going to be giving you reload speed every time you kill something and even more reload speed if your kill is a critical kill which most kills should be um the reason that i don't think it's worth to stack five into this it could be early on instead of going interplanetary stalker but currently i'm using weapons that i'm not really reloading with because of the bonuses that they have on them and i can show what weapons are good in a minute here but this just isn't huge for me. It is really nice if I do have weapons that I have to reload with. And it's just nice overall. I don't really think these other things are worth going for. I mean, this can be okay in place of it. Because it's just extra damage against humans. Extra damage against robots. And then some survivability against beasts. I don't really like the survivability. But most NPCs you kill are humans anyway. So free crit damage is pretty nice. In retrospect, this could be better to use than second intention. It kind of just depends on the guns that you're using. While leveling, I probably lean towards second intention because you are you don't have perfect guns with very well rolled or well very that are very well rolled. Jesus Christ! So it's good to have additional reload speed while you're leveling. This I don't think is good because there's always enemies nearby, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Next thing, this is probably the best talent in the entire game because it gives you when it's at five plus 25 percent extra projectile chance which literally means you shoot 25 percent extra damage or 25 percent extra bullets which will equate to 25 percent extra damage the reason i think this is the best talent in the game versus getting something like this is giving you 33 percent gun damage is that getting extra projectiles um is just a flat extra bullet whereas getting extra gun damage i don't think that it scales one to one meaning that if my gun is doing 100 damage and i get 10 percent extra gun damage my gun would then be doing 110 damage i don't think that it works like that because of how much additional gun damage you can stack on top of each other as well as all the buffs compounding each other i don't think that the way that the it's the coefficients are um calculated i don't think that it works like that but getting extra bullets no matter what you're doing is extra flat damage and as you can see i have a mod to give me plus 20 or pl plus 20 that'd be sick plus two um into this which can be 35 percent extra projectile chance which is even more damage moving on i'm gonna go three into here this is huge my hunter skills become more effective and they have a longer duration a hundred percent doubling the duration on my hunter skills and the effects are increased by 30 percent What's a hunter skill, you might ask? This is a hunter skill. This is a hunter skill. This is a hunter skill. And what else? That's about it. But those are all insane. Increasing the duration of this by 100% and increasing the effectiveness by 30% on all of these? That's actually crazy. It's actually so good. And it only costs three to spec into. And it's really great if you're using something like this. The next thing we're going to go into is this only two points though but it's another hunter skill where whenever you kill a badass or stronger enemy you gain increased crit damage gun damage and handling i'm only specking two into it which gives us 17 percent damage six percent crit damage and decent handling but it lasts for 120 seconds but guess what it lasts longer than that because we went into big game it's actually going to last for 240 seconds it's going to last for four minutes dude four minutes of extra damage pretty much for free and you're constantly killing badass npcs you could go three into this um i'm not sure if i want to do that because what i want to do next is boom 15 percent crit damage that's just 15 percent damage while we're in our fadeaway and we are trying to land as many crits as possible and also 
boom, 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 four into Grim Harvest, 12% gun damage, and 20% action skill damage. Um, obviously, we don't have enough points to spec more into this. That would be nice, but whatever. By itself, it's really good. At 32% extra damage pretty much when, when we're in our buff anyway, which is really good. Um, you could make an argument for going three points into the or three points into this and then three points into this. Not really a big deal. In terms of what you want to do with your class mod, what extra, you know, what what perk is going to give you the most value? Uh, I honestly think that if you could get this to plus two so that it's at five, that's probably the most value so that you're getting your cooldown back ASAP. Um, otherwise, Getting plus two here is huge. I pretty much hit the lottery there. Getting you know something here could be really nice as well, just increasing the duration. Anything that is out of three is usually going to be pretty good because just of how much value you're getting out of it. So increasing this is pretty good because since it's out of three, per point is going to be more meaningful than something like this. But there's a lot of things that are really good. Um, if I were to make like a tier list, I would say, this and this is like a tier this is probably like b tier this would be b tier or maybe a tier this is b tier this is, or this is also a tier this is probably i don't know c tier uh c tier c tier maybe a tier i don't even know if you can get this uh, probably b tier if you could and if you could get this, this would be better than all of them. This would be a S plus because if you were to increase the duration of this from 45% to what would that be? 75%. You're just effectively making your buff last much longer, which is just obviously where the bulk of your damage comes from. So that would be huge in terms of what weapons you want to look out for while leveling, not a big deal. I would just try to find things again with high RPM and things that have extra crit damage as a stat on them. Um, it's also really good to have something that, you know, when you land a crit, it ricochets bullets. So just hitting more NPCs, that's obviously really good when you pop your buff and you're landing 100% crits. Uh, once you get to max level, things like on action skill end, weapon damage is increased by 100% for a short time are really good because you'll pop your buff, use a gun like this, where I just do a shitload of damage critting things over and over again. It returns bullets to the max so I never have to reload. Ricochet bullets, it's absolute mayhem, but then I can swap because my action skill ended, and then now this does 100% extra damage for a short amount of time. Stuff like that's pretty good. I haven't done a whole bunch of testing with weapons, but while you're leveling, I'd really recommend just using higher RPM SMGs and ARs, and then while you're in your buff, you can swap to something like a sniper to gain a whole bunch of extra damage on that weapon, but I wouldn't really use a sniper or anything outside of your buff because you're trying to reduce the cooldown as much as humanly possible. So, yeah. In terms of, we already talked about class mods. Um, in terms of like what you want to get on here, I haven't seen a whole bunch of them, so I don't really know. Um, but getting things like action skill cooldown reduction is huge. Uh, the, the thing of ideal extra damage when enemies are above 75% health is pretty decent. I have a decent amount of these. I'd recommend just trying to get things that give you extra weapon damage, extra you know skill cooldown reduction. Maybe getting rate of fire is really good, or maybe weapon crit damage like this one is. Stuff like that is really strong. This one right here is pretty good because it's big game plus two and interplanetary stalker plus two. But I really like having the, you know, extra plus two of the extra projectile chance. In terms of relics, I haven't really found that many good ones. Ideally, you want one that gives you action skill cooldown rate and like crit damage or something pretty similar to what you'd want on here. I haven't really seen a lot of these, so I don't know necessarily what's possible. Um, and yeah, everything else is kind of just up to preference in terms of your guardian rank for me i'm just specking as much into um, enforcer as possible and also reducing the cooldown of my thing as much as possible as well when i don't get like a good swap but i'm just specking into this for c combo and hollow point uh killing an enemy with a crit causes an explosion i'm really looking forward to that otherwise i mean this is really good action skill cooldown rate increases while you're at full shield that's really good um and also getting, yeah, the only thing good here is just the fact that you're getting the action skill cooldown reduction. Otherwise, the other stuff here isn't really all that strong. This is probably, Survivor is probably going to be better uh, going into because you're getting killing an enemy triggers shield regen. 
and that's just going to be really good because you can just kill stuff over and over again and get your shield back but it takes a while to spec into but i mean eventually you're going to have all of these so it's not a big deal anyway so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy sorry for the long drawn out explanations i just like to be informative so you guys know what the deal is so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other video recommendations please let me know and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out boyos